the integral from 1 to 2, 20x plus 10x to the third, 4x squared plus x to the fourth dx, you want to somehow make this into your du. Okay? So the way I did it, let's say you have, you want to somehow make that 8x equal 20x, and this 4 equals 10. So 8x, well, you might as well say 8 times what value will give you 20. Okay, so if you divide both sides by 8, you have y equal 20 over 8, which is 5 over 2. Okay, so if you multiply this one by 5 over 2, and if you do the same thing for 4 and 10, if you have 5 over 2, you have 20 over 2, which, yep, be the same thing. So you have 5 over 2, du is going to equal 20x plus 10x to the third dx. So sometimes you have to manipulate a little bit more on some problems than others. Okay. That means our integral from 1 to 2, 20x plus 10x to the third, or 4x squared plus x to the fourth, with respect to x, actually becomes integral from 1 to 2, our 20x plus 10x to the third becomes 5 over 2 du over our original u. Okay, so we just go ahead and get that 5 over 2 and bring it to the front. We'll bring that up some. The integral from 1 to 2 of du over u is going to equal 5 over 2 times the natural log of u. We don't need the plus c because we're a definite integral here from 1 to 2. Okay, so that's going to equal 5 over 2. And we convert that back to a function of x. That's the natural log. And since 4x squared plus x to the fourth will always be positive, you don't need the absolute value for that one. That is from 1 to 2. Okay, so we go ahead and use the fundamental theorem. 5 over 2 times the natural log of 2 squared. So that gives you 4. So you have 16 plus 2 to the 4th is 16 minus natural log of 1 squared is 1. So you have 4 plus 1. Okay, so you end up with 5 over 2 times the natural log of 32 minus the natural log of 5. And we'll leave that as an exact answer. Yes? Would it be correct in, like, what would happen if we simplified the original problem? Like, if we divided yeah. the top and bottom by... Oh, yeah, you could have done that also. Does that end up with the same thing or something different? Nope, you should. If you factor it out... Okay. If you factor an out x. Yep, if you factor out an x, it should just cancel out and simplify it a little bit. Yeah, but a lot of times I just dive right in. But you could have simplified it. Oh, make sure. Sorry about that. Okay, any other questions on this one? And if you wanted, you can distribute the 5 over 2 and then have uh, 5 over 2 
32 to the power of 5 root 2, but you don't have to do all that. That's just going far and beyond what's necessary. All right. If there are no questions. We are all done for today. If you have questions, feel free to hang around and ask away. If you were confused by anything today, let me know and I'll re-explain it if need be. And I'll see you on Monday. Oh, did everyone sign in? He should be floating around somewhere. <laughs>